county is launching a new program to curb youth gun violence. It comes on the heels of a violent weekend across the city with one of the victims as young as 12 years old. Our Stephanie Quirk in the newsroom with how this initiative will work with people who are at the center of the crisis. Stephanie? Yeah, Ted. It's called the Advanced Peace Fellowship Program, and leaders say it's proven to reduce crime in more than 10 other cities where it's launched. Not by implementing more policing, but by focusing on the young people who are actually driving the gun violence. Gun violence remains a tragic reality. It's an issue we see across Milwaukee County. Over the summer, we did not go longer than six days uh, without having a child um, come to our emergency department with a gunshot wound. Gun violence, particularly among young people. We're seeing that the, the victims of, of firearm injuries are, are younger and younger. We've learned a 12 year old child was shot. Just this past weekend, three people were shot and killed in the city. The youngest victim was just 12 years old. A very small group of people driving gun violence in cities most impacted by community violence. Tuesday, the county launched a program focused on stopping the violence by working with those at the center of it. We have to embrace active firearm offenders as a part of the solution equation. The Advanced Peace Fellowship works with young people ages 14 to 24, specifically targeting individuals who are either causing or suffering from gun violence. Mentors will do several daily check-ins and offer the fellows growth opportunities. It keeps them from going to an early grave or an unnecessary jail cell. The goal is to change the trajectory of their lives, and leaders say in other cities it's proven to do so. The original city is Richmond, California. They've had an 86% reduction since 2010, right, when we launched. Well, it's not something that happens overnight. This is a transformational opportunity. Now, the funding for this program is coming from a $2 million grant from the Department of Justice, along with money from the American Rescue Plan. Reporting in the newsroom, Stephanie Quirk, Fox 6 News.